Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Oka Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working on a Dodge Dart, but what we'll be doing, guys, actually, we'll work on Chrysler 200. Why? Because both of the vehicles, guys, they share the same platform and many of the parts are interchangeable. In today's video, we will show you how to remove and replace blower motor fan and where it's located. It's not as easy as you think. Other vehicles are way easier on this one. You have to do some disassembly and we'll show you how to get to it. Quick introduction, guys. Every car we get at the shop, including this generation Dodge Dart, guys, was, we will be making at least 200 videos. Why we do all that, guys? Why we take our cars completely apart? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you want to save even more on car parts, tools, new blower motor fan, anything you need, guys, for your car, check out the link in the description of the video below, and you can find where we get all the parts from, and you can find a link for the replacement part as well. This right here is a 2015, guys, Dodge, uh, Dodge Dart, but as I said, it should work on Chrysler 200, uh, 200 as well, because they share the same platform. So, now, I'll go inside and show you guys the symptoms of a not working fan. Okay, it could be... Uh, the blower motor fan, heater fan, will not work at all, guys. It will not turn on at all. You will try to adjust it, nothing will happen. So, how you guys take care of that? How you fix it? It could be a blower motor fan, it could be a fan fuse, it could be a relay, it could be a bad resistor. We have s uh, so many components that can cause that to happen. But in today's video, we'll show you how to replace the blower motor fan. And we have a video that explains how to test the blower motor fan and know if that's... Uh, the reason why yours is not working so that's what we'll be doing now first we'll need to remove the glove box stay with us we'll start on that we'll remove the glove box you'll see why and then we'll continue guys so with the glove box removed now okay we're going to come right here underneath guys okay let me show you now what we're working on now here you can see guys if you look this way okay it's a little bit of a hidden thing but right here there is one wire that we need to disconnect okay this wire here and this one on top disconnect those now that device okay right here it's all the way okay on the side this is your blower motor fan guys okay i'm trying my best to show you what it looks like we have the cables okay this thing is your blower motor fan so let me show you now okay how we're going to get that thing loose we need to guys get a 732 socket now and you have only three screws okay that you need to remove let me show you quick three screws guys okay somehow okay i almost hit it guys let me grab the socket again and see let's try one more time Ah, come on almost there now the screw that i'm talking about okay the first one okay it's right there okay this is the first screw so i'll get a screwdriver and i'm going to get them loose guys let me show you now quick okay perfect okay this is the first one it's coming loose there okay not too long one is out one on top here okay this one is getting loose but uh, my screwdriver is actually a little bit Okay, you cannot see so good guys, but that's the best thing I can do. Screwdriver is a little bit long actually for there. So I'm removing uh, the second screw now. Once we remove them, I'll show you where they're located guys. So make sure you stand till the end. Third screw, you kind of like access it, okay, through here. Ah, I almost, I almost hit this one and it came loose. Mm. 
Okay, this one is out. Now this cover should come loose and once you pull the cover you should be able to pull the blower motor fan out of there guys. Okay. This right here guys is your blower motor fan. Now the three screws that we remove guys, okay, they're right here, one, two, three. This is your blower motor fan, this is how you guys remove it, it's come out. If you need to buy a new replacement one, we have a video on the channel, uh, um, excuse me, link uh, on, in the description of the video below and see how to, uh, how to purchase one, where you can get it one, and where you can get one for a really good price. If yours is super noisy sometimes, it could be out of bounds because you may have too much dust build up here. Ours has some dust, but not enough to throw it off balance, but it's just not working, so we will be replacing it with a new one, and you put it together in reverse order with two kilo part. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos, and see you guys next time.